While one might be familiar with the modern personality tests of today, which are produced by online blogs such as BuzzFeed and Hello Quizzy, with some even getting over 20 million shares, many people today are unfamiliar with the original personality test known as the Myers-Briggs test and where it came from. While originally made and published in the United States in 1943 by both Catherine Briggs and her daughter Isabel Briggs Myers, we have to look back to the year of 1921 in which Carl Jung published personality types. This publication allows us to fully understand the backbone on which the Briggs family layered their own test. In this publication, Jung talks about how people exhibit four functions, thinking, sensation, intuition, and feeling. These functions then land on a spectrum, ranging from rational to irrational. Jung suggests that people lean more towards one side of the spectrum, and each of those sides leads to a subcategory of extroversion or introversion, which he considers personality attitudes. These last two qualities are based on whether the individual realizes the function on the outer world or the inner world, which is the individual himself. Now, just because one person leans towards one side does not mean he or she cannot have the other side's qualities. Jung never states that one person can only exhibit one type of function. He proposes that people can have a dominant function, which is seen as their consciousness, and a less dominant function, which is their unconscious. The Myers-Briggs test attempts to discard this dormant function and to suddenly label people based on their dominant characteristic. What the test also decides to eliminate is the idea of personal attitudes, making it more black and white to classify someone who is either an introvert I or an extrovert E, to classify someone who uses intuition as a more abstract thinker N, or if they rely on senses which makes them a practical thinker S. When listening to others' problems, are they more critical T or are they more empathetic F. Are they a judger, meaning more controlled and organized, J, or are they more perceivers, meaning they are more relaxed and disorganized, P. And just after answering a survey, you too will be classified within one of the 16 categories which is supposed to accurately depict what kind of human being you are and what category you fit into. Today though, it is heavily debated as to whether the Myers-Briggs test should be seen as a credible way to understand someone's character or not. In fact, my friend Jordan and I have decided to take stances on either side of the argument to decide once and for all whether the MBTI is adequate or absolute hogwash.